Hello everyone. I have the Ender 3 Max printer. Whenever I print something, I notice the constant lines in all my prints, which is called Z banding. The one in the end is printed after upgrading to Dual Z, and the one in grey are printed before upgrading to Dual Z. You can see the difference by yourself. In this video, I will share you how to install Creality Ender 3 Dual Z kit on Ender 3 Max. I will provide the link of this kit in the video description. Now let's unbox it. Inside the box, we have the instruction manual and the metal packet for mounting the power supply, which I am not going to use it. And the nuts and screws for the installation and the stepper motor cable and the X gantry metal bracket and the lead screw for Ender 3 and the stepper motor couplings plastic bracket for step motor mounting and lead screw top mount that's it all we have inside the dual z kit the lead screw that comes with this kit is what does only support l3 printers so i brought this lead screw separately this is a 500 mm lead screw the full specification i will provide in the video description now let's start upgrading first i loosen the all rollers Since we are removing the rollers, it will be hanging on side. So for support, I added this box. Now I started removing the rollers one by one. After removing the rollers, now remove the metal bracket. Make sure to clean the old rollers if there is any dust particles. Now take the lengthy screw that comes with the kit for installing the rollers back. Now install the metal bracket back into the printer. Now install the spacers and rollers as mentioned in the instruction manual. Install the X gantry metal bracket that comes with the kit. Install the rollers back as mentioned in the user manual. Make sure you do not tighten the rollers too much, there should be some small clearance so it will be running free. Use this bolt to adjust the roller tightness. If it is too tight, then the Z banding with issue will reoccur. So make sure it is not too tight. Now use the screws and the bracket that comes with the kit for installing the Z axis motor. Make sure the bracket is straight enough so there won't be any wobbling issue. Now use the T-nuts to install the motor into the Z-axis rails. I am using this power supply bracket that comes with the kit to make sure that the motor sits perfectly 90 degrees straight. If it is not straight then the wobbling issue will reoccur. Now we install the coupling. Now use the T-Nux to install the lead screw top mount. I tried to insert the lead screw but it was not getting through the bearing. So I tried adding some lubricant oil but still it was not going through it. So I decided to remove it and install it later after inserting it into the motor coupling. After inserting the lead screw I noticed that it is not perfectly straight to the coupling. So I tried losing this lead screw nut.
long and after it is not straight enough. Then I noticed the issues with the plastic mounting bracket which was making the motor slightly bent. This plastic bracket looks slightly bent when it was tighter with the motor. So I printed myself this motor mounting bracket. I will provide the STL file link in this video description. To mounting this we need to remove the X gantry. First we install the printed bracket into the motor. Now slide the motor into the Z-axis rail. Now repeat the same step as we did before. Make sure this time it is also perfectly straight. Before installing the lead screw, make sure it is clean enough and does not have any dirt or sand particles in it. Now after installing this 3D printed bracket, now it fits perfectly straight. After that I install the Z-axis brackets back into the printer. Now make sure the lead screw is free to move in both the directions. I have completed installing the lead screw on the motor. Now only we have to connect the connectors. Now flip the printer upside down and remove the screws and back cover. Fan cable will be attached to the back cover. Make sure to remove it carefully. The stepper motor connectors are actually glued together. So in order to remove that, we need to remove the glues first. While removing this glue, make sure that you do not damage any other components. Now unplug the connector and remove it from the zip tags. The cable comes without sleeves installed. We have to insert the sleeves by ourselves. Now connect the cable to the connectors and secure it with the tape and zip tags to prevent any damages to the cable. And set up everything back as before and install the covers back. Now remove the old cable from the stepper motor and connect the new cable to the both stepper motors. Make sure to route it properly, it should not touch any moving parts. I secure the cable in place with the clip that comes with the printer. Now we have to level both the lead screws. For that you can use the leveling tool or a ruler or anything with the same dimension. I am going to use this 3D printed parts for leveling this. First place one on the one end and another one to the other end. Make sure the X axis touches both equally. This has to be very accurate so you won't get any issues after leveling this. Now I did the auto level test. And now it works perfectly without any issues. Both the motors are now perfectly synced together. Only after testing with few prints I can able to tell that it does it require any Z sync belt or not. Most probably these motors won't go out of sync but until you disturb it. So make sure you don't touch the lead screw if you are trying to move the Z axis. I also tested it by moving it all the way up and down before printing anything.
now let's do some test print first i'm going to print the calibration cube to see if there is any improvement in the print quality now the printing is completed now i can clearly see that there is no lines in my print and the z-banding issue is now gone I never seen this much high quality print from my printer. Now you can clearly see the difference between before and after upgrading to DLZ. The one on the grey is printed before upgrading to DLZ. And I also tried printing some bigger parts. I never seen a such a high quality print from my printer. Now I can clearly say that it is definitely worth upgrading to DLZ axis motor. I brought the silicon grease to lubricate the both lead screws. Apply it using the toothpick and move the lead screw up and down after applying it. You shouldn't be moving the lead screw by hand. You have to do it by using the move z-axis command from the printer. Thank you for watching this video.